TB Photo X1.5 TFX and welcome back to another video. Well, it has been a little bit uh, a while since I did my last update here where I think I announced also that I was in the middle of moving. So that has been all taken care of now and what you're seeing now is actually my new residence. Uh, so that's why content have been scarce lately. So it has been all of that malarkey going on. <clears throat> Anyway, I thought that in this installment, uh, first off, uh, I have noticed that I have actually broken the 700 subscriber milestone, which is completely uh, fantastic in my opinion, and uh, it's uh, so I hardly can believe it myself. But anyway, yeah, thanks to each and every one of you for finding some kind of interest in the content that I am producing. But I thought that um, now you might be think, do a double take here because. What you can see here on this little tripod here is the D7200. Why is that strange? Well, for you eagle eye viewers or uh, yeah, uh, people who have been with me for a while know that this camera is the one that has previously been filming all of my uh, episodes. But now there is a new kid on the block actually. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna, you know, maybe do a little bit of a separate video about that part for that camera, or rather, I think I'm just gonna uh, do a little, you know, presentation of it. I have a new camera that is filming these episodes, and uh, yeah, uh, here's the thing. I have for a while contemplating getting another camera to film, so I can do some demonstrations with the D7200 without having to film it. I, you know I have the Panasonic action cam, uh, but the problem with that one, that one is that it's such a tiny sensor that you really need to be outside uh, to get a good exposure. And it's also a very extreme wide angle, so you can't do any, it's no, it doesn't have any zoom features, it is, uh, you know, stuck with the, uh, the, you know, the focal length that it has. Uh, but I was shopping around a little bit. I was contemplating uh, going for a full frame or another second D7200 or a D7100 as well for that matter because you know they, they are brilliant cameras for video, uh, for being a crop sensor Nikon cameras. They're 24 megapixels each and uh, they're brilliant at filming, in my opinion. Uh, there is no, you, you get a really great deal, really much bang for your buck with the D7000 series. Uh, but on paper, I don't really recommend the D7500 because, uh, you know, they have stripped away so many features from the previous D7200 uh, in order to not uh, discourage people from buying the D500. That's my <clears throat> take on that whole story. Uh, and if you don't, uh, if you have any other contemplation about that, uh, please put it in the comment section below. I would look forward to it. Uh, but anyway, as stated, I, I was actually looking at, I actually saw the Sony has done a 100 something something camera uh, let's see here, doesn't it say something on this one? No, this is just a remote control for the camera in question. But anyway, <clears throat> what I meant to say is that Sony has a new camcorder. Yes, that's still a thing actually, because I wanted this for dedicated for, uh, you know, a video. Uh, not a stills camera, but a video camera for videoing. So I was looking at Sony, who have always been good at handycams or camcorders. Um, I remember actually when I was growing up, my dad actually had a Sony Video 8, uh, which was basically just when uh, Casio came out with one of their first, you know, small uh, pocket, uh, if you can call it that, uh, digital cameras in the late 1980s. Sony had recently come out with the Video 8 system. So uh, what I'm actually, I was actually browsing through Tradera just to see what was newly you know, uploaded uh, to be sold. And I found this guy who was actually selling off a Sony H HDR uh, 900E version. That's the 
the cousin, I should say, of the the 100 camera with the same body and functionality, which is 4K. But I thought of this, do I need it, really need 4K at this time in my photographic journey? And the answer of it is an overwhelmingly no, I don't need 4K. So what I actually got is this brilliant on paper, this is the first video I'm doing with it, Sony HDR 900E version. And I'm gonna do a video about it, uh, filming that with a D7200, of course, uh, in the near future. But that's a little bit of that uh, thing that, uh, yeah, a new camera and a new apartment. And, uh, well, one of the biggest highlights that have happened during this past weeks was that Flaten Festivalen, a festival that I have attended a couple of times. It started as a uh, kind of this home uh, party style thing uh, for a couple of years ago. I think it's maybe three or four years ago actually. And uh, it has actually evolved quite a bit and now they want to make it a public uh, festival or they are complete, the, the, the family that is hosting this thing, Flaten Festivalen, is contemplating doing a legitimate uh, one day Fest music festival uh, of it, and I basically called it a uh, Javles version of Woodstock. And I was the official, unofficial photographer for that event, so I did do some photography with the D7200. Uh, so I thought I went digital. One one year I actually did a hybrid. I went with both the D7200 and the Nikon F4, which you can see in this display cabinet behind me. Uh, yeah, uh, but anyway, <clears throat> and the I thought I would go through the kit that I actually used during that little photo gig. Uh, first of all, it was this Sigma 20 to uh, 10 to 20 f3.5, I believe it is. Uh, this is a brilliant lens for landscape and close up in indoor things and so on. It's a great wide angle, uh, wide angle zoom lens in my opinion. Works, it's made for DX format and uh, I've done a standalone video about this uh, when I went to Stockholm last year. Uh, so check that out. I'm probably gonna put a link in the description of that video. Really brilliant. I might not have that many sample images in this, uh, uh, in, at this point, uh, but uh, bear with me. Then there, it's not really that much of a surprise. It's the 28 to 70 uh, f2.8 uh, Tokina uh, AF. It's the ATX version. Uh, this is a brilliant, you know, there we have the wide angle here is the medium uh, zoom lens for this little gig. I'm probably gonna do this thing ahead. Brilliant uh, piece of glass. The only thing I have on it now is a, a rubber lens hood. Uh, you get a little bit of vignetting with the lens hood at 28 millimeter, but uh, if you use it correctly, you can just you know pull in the lens hood when you go completely wide angle and use it uh, at all the other settings. So that's it. Uh, so yeah, so we have the wide angle and the medium taken care of. So what did I use for telephoto? Well, uh, I do own the fabled Nikon Nikkor. Uh, 80 to 200 f2.8. I have that in another cabinet in this room actually, but uh, I thought I would try because this is going to go into the evening, it's going to be dark, I need some kind of vibration reduction and I want to be able to zoom in even though I might be not so close to the stage. So I took a lens that I have gotten bef uh, have for a while but haven't really used and it's the Nikon Nikkor ED uh, 70 to 300 f 45 to 56. So this is not a constant aperture lens, but it is a yeah I know it has vibration reduction. It has been highly recommended both as a as a birding uh, lens for the advanced amateur and so on, and being very sharp and very good for what it is. So. Yeah, I would say this is the little triage of lenses that I brought to Flotten Festivalen and did some photo shoot with it at, you know, at that point. 
also I have some other little uh, tidbits uh, in the works. Uh, I'm gonna take in some film to be developed. Uh, since uh, be you know having it moved and so on, I have a lot of stuff that is still in cardboard boxes, which means that uh, I have uh, yet to unpack it. But I thought that this would be the first little uh, video from this new apartment. I'm still living in Uppsala and so on. So yeah, um, and for all of you, uh, what I'm drinking this evening is. Uh, San Pellegrino, Italian mineral water. If you haven't had this before, it's really nice, really good, and I would recommend it to everyone. But I think that's gonna be all for now. So yeah, as always, this is Tobias Bergstrom from TB Photo X 1.5 to FX. And as always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So take care from now on. Bye.